Senator Graham, please. Uh, thank you all for uh, uh, a lot of hard work and I think a very good product. Uh, to those who want to uh, suggest alternatives, you're welcome. We'll take any new good idea to make this better. To those who think it's uh, wrong, we accept criticism, but we will not accept demagoguery. We're not going to play that game. If you got a good idea, bring it. If you think they, they've missed a mark, we'll certainly listen to you. But we're not going to play the demagoguery game because change is afoot and it's necessary. Uh, Congress required you to do your job. Do you understand what we were asking you to do? Are we, were we trying to get you to fix a broken system? And there's old adage, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Or were we trying to get you to make a system better? What was your mandate in your own mind? Senator Graham. Senator Graham, thank you for that question. It is our understanding that the, our mandate was to modernize, uh, make recommendations for modernizing. So it wasn't your mandate from Congress to go just save money? Absolutely not. That was not our so, understanding. So it was your understanding that Congress wanted you to look at a 70-year-old system, see if you could make it better and more efficient, right? Correct, Senator. On the combat medicine point, uh, do you agree that we have the best combat medicine any time in the history of the modern military? After 13 years of war, we do, but I don't believe we had it going into this. Well, we I, got, think, we I think got, we got better and better. We got it now. Yeah. The question we is, have to maintain it. Yeah, that's right. Don't lose it. That's right. So if the core function of military health care is to make sure the force is ready to fight, then we've got to make sure we hang on to that. That's what you're telling us, right? Exactly. Uh, we learned from the Guard and Reserve when the war first started that a lot of people didn't have dental coverage and 25% of the Guard and Reserve were disqualified for deployment because of dental problems that troops. That is true. Congressman Booyer. Yes, it's true. Uh, that is true because your brother's a dentist. We've overcome that. So we don't want to go back to that system of having a health care system that doesn't make you ready to fight, having a health care system that can't keep you in the fight and save your life if you get injured. And I think. Senator Kerry probably knows more about that than anybody. So those are my guideposts. I don't want to lose ground on the major functions. Uh, as to retirement, no one's suggesting that we're changing the retirement system to 40% versus 50% for those on active duty, are you? Everybody's grandfathered. That's correct, Senator. So I heard that conversation. If I just walked into this room not knowing the context, I would think that a 40% retirement change had been recommended by the committee for those on active duty. That is not true. This chart, who, does, who did your polling? That, that polling was done by true choice. That this, this has to do with the survey that we, we had conducted. I can't imagine too many things that I do where 80% of the people prefer something new to the something they have. So you feel good about those numbers? Senator, we feel very good about that, unanimously. Okay. What about the retired community? Do you have data about how they feel? The, 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 about the proposed changes? Well, the, the feedback that we've gotten is that... Uh, from Can the you one poll retired military members and find out? We, we polled retired as well as active duty and reserve components. So what were the numbers on the retired community? Uh, Senator, let me take that for Fair that enough. question for record. Fair enough, because I want to see both ends of the spectrum here. Seems to me that the the jury is in that the uh, people on active duty like what you're proposing, and if they had an option, they would take the new system. <clears throat> I think what we need to understand as members of this committee is where is the uh, retired force? What do they think about the proposed changes? Because the health care changes are not grandfathered. Is that correct? That that is correct. Just retirement. All right, so at the end of the day, your recommendations on health care are driven by the fact that we think we can provide better choice, more efficient for the patient, more efficient for the Department of Defense, and actually give more choice and better coverage. Is that correct? That's correct. That is correct. And if we do nothing in terms of health care cost, it is exploding in terms of DOD's overall budget and somebody needs to deal with it. Is that correct? In terms of fiscal sustainability, that is correct, Senator. Because you're having a situation where you have to deal with retiree health care at the expense of readiness to fight the war of today and tomorrow. And that's a choice we don't want to make. That is correct. Thank you all for your hard work.